Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Geeks Watch. Urban Geeks CEO, Kumbi Tenoye, has joined the CES Advisory Board. Atlanta startup Compass Events is taking the events industry by storm. Preparations are underway for the upcoming Culture Shifting Weekend in New York City. Another major milestone for Urban Geeks CEO, Kumbi Tenoye. She has joined the CES Advisory Board. CES is the world's largest consumer tech show. The board is made up of the industry's most credible and distinguished thought leaders in various areas of technology. Leading up to the 2019 conference, the board will work closely on the strategic direction for the conference program, speaker recommendations, and content themes. When you have a conference program as big and diverse as ours, we need to make sure that we have the most trusted resources and experts giving us advice on what topics and themes we should be addressing at the show. So the CES Conference's Advisory Board gives us feedback on the disruptive companies, the most exciting speakers, and the subject matter experts we should be bringing on to speak. So we purposefully curate this and we recruit people who are industry visionaries, we recruit um, media outlets in both the technology and business space, and we want to make sure that we've really got a, a um, great group of people giving us their diverse perspectives on what the most important trends and themes should be for that year. In Atlanta, Honor Code is partnering with A3C Festival and Conference. They'll host high school seniors and teachers from the Atlanta Public Schools. Founded in 2005, A3C has grown from a local showcase to become one of the most important hip hop events of the year. Honor Code, a nonprofit, partners with educators to bring computer science into the general K-12 classrooms, providing curriculum, training, and connecting the next generation to industry professionals. Here's Honor Code's founder, Jeffrey Martin. Nothing can happen in impact space if there's no trust and there's no community. We know that there's such a high demand for the type of skills that we're talking about, and not just on the computer programming side of things, but we've been talking about some things in our film industry, our IT industry, and we're really trying to think about how can we get these employer-aligned skills into more teachers' hands, not only here in the state, not only just in the Southeast, but eventually nationally. Management consultancy firm Culture Shift Labs is prepping for its New York City Culture Shifting Weekend in November. The exclusive invitation-only three-day event brings together a diverse pool of accredited investors, venture capitalists, and corporate decision makers. The summit is one of the few events where a select group of African-American decision makers and influencers come together to make big money deals. Well, I've been really excited to participate in Culture Shift. One of the things that is really inspiring is to be surrounded by some of the best and brightest minds and having an opportunity to come together to really exchange on ideas and think about things that we do well, but thinking about how we can continue to amplify them. I would tell my peers, this is a great opportunity to get fed and think about new ways that you can continue to drive the good that we're already doing. Atlanta startup Compass Events is taking the events industry by storm with a mobile app that allows users to share, discover, and explore events in their favorite cities. One of the most innovative features is its use of a real-time heat technology. Users get a bird's eye view of what's going on, not just from the event's perspective, but also engagement. If a venue is busy, it turns red. With less activity, we'll see splotches of blue. Impressive, right? Here's the founder and CEO, Keith Wilson. So what sets us apart from the competition is the fact that we try to attack the events market from the more of the social side. So our main competition, let's say Eventbrite or Facebook events, they're more just an event management company. Your experience with them typically starts by buying tickets or validating the tickets at those particular venues. With us, not only do we allow you to find out the events that are going on near you, we also allow you to engage with people at those particular events through group messaging, and we also allow you to navigate to those events because we've taken the time to actually integrate more Uber and Lyft technology to navigate you to those events. So you can see, with Compass, we're more of an all-inclusive solution that allows you to also see what's going on, navigate to what's going on, and engage with the people that are at those particular events. So we're really proud of our heat map technology that we've integrated into Compass. What it allows us to do at more of a high level is to give our users an idea of the events that are hot and those are not. And we do that by trying to measure the level of engagement at those particular events. Uh, for us, just by asking a lot of different customers, we found the best way to do that is by integrating
really more the heat map technology. So as users are able to go to events in Compass and actually check into those events, the events will start to show up red on our particular map. So you'll pretty much be able to know, okay, if this event is red on the map, there's probably a lot of engagement, a lot of people there. It's probably an event I definitely want to check out and go to. Whereas if the event starts to show up blue, it's probably an event that doesn't really have a lot of engagement at that particular moment or a lot of people there. So you might just want to wait until it starts to heat up a little bit. So we really just want to provide people just more of a bird's eye view of what's going on, how engaged people are, and what parts of town are hot or not. Finally, with a budget of just $600, students from the University of California Davis's College of Engineering have created a machine that's capable of tying a shoe all by itself. The robot's not exactly fast, but imagine what these students could do if they had a much larger budget.